Welcome to The Wasteland, a place for gamers of all kinds. If you like this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Yes. Okay, so we are jumping into another Commander game, this time CEDH, with uh, Jeff, Renee, David, and myself. Jeff, what are you playing? Uh, I'm going to be playing Magna Brazen Outlaw. Should be over here instead of my discard pal. And uh, I'm just going to try to combo off, bring out some dragons, kill everyone, hopefully around turn turn four or five. All right. Uh, Renee, what are, you, what are we doing? Playing Sithis, Harvest Sands. I'm going to play some enchantments. Uh, my go-to for win is Heliod and Walking Ballista, and I will pillow fort until I get there. Okay. Pillow fort combo. Got it. David. I'm playing Essica, Legendary Tribal. Uh, pretty much just going to try and get as much value out of my deck as possible and uh, hope to stop other people from winning until I can get to a point where I can kill with commit with uh, damage. Uh, commander damage or just... Not commander. commander. It, it's a 1-4. I'm not getting commander damage. Yeah, maybe you suited up. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Uh, I am playing Lavinia, uh, Azorius Renegade. It is uh, the shop's thematic deck in that uh, you can do everything in the game except that it costs you extra and it has a sub theme of wizards uh, and I win eventually through combat damage eventually but not like one at a time it's like oh I have enough wizards I kill you I kill you I kill you cool Ready? fantastic uh, we have our opening hands and uh, who's going first that'd be me ah what a shocker <laughs> uh, so I'm not gonna lie I think you should make a Lavinia uh, combat beats down deck only with swords and throw everyone off. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to Jeweled Lotus. Crack Jeweled Lotus. Bring out Magda. Pretend that that other mana means something. Play a land and pass the turn. Uh, I will play a forest and pass turn. Draw for turn. Command tower. Pass turn. Draw. Island go. Uh, land. I will play this dwarf. And I will move to combat. Swing at uh, you before you pelo for it. How much? Two. Just two. And I gain one treasure. And I will pass the turn. Draw. Planes. Cast my commander. And pass turn. Draw for turn and regret the decisions I've made in life. Pass turn. Oh, that's aggressive. Draw cards. <laughs> All the decisions you made in life? Or Most just, of them. Uh, the vast majority of them. Okay. Uh, play, Good to know. Play this here planes and uh, play this here arcane signal. Go ahead. All right. All right. I'm going to draw for turn. I wish I would uh, have not drawn that. Um, I totally forgot about this stupid guy in my deck because I didn't have to do one dwarf tokens. Uh, so I'm gonna attack you for um three. I'm gonna attack Renee for three. I'm gonna attack Tim for two. Commander. Uh, I'm just gonna get some treasure. Uh, then we're gonna. Oh, sorry, in combat I'm going to boast. That was what I got this thing out for. This is going to be a 2-1 dwarf. Tapped and attacking you. Oh, right. That way everyone takes some damage. And pass. Untap. Draw. Play a planes. Drop a mana crypt. Three, four, five. Casting Sigil of the Empty Throne. Responses. Nope. No response. Gain of life. Draw a card. And then passing the turn. Is, is Magnet an artifact or land? It's an artifact. Okay. artifact. My brain just shut down for a second. You alright? <laughs> yeah. Which, true enough, as being an artifact, it should in fact not be with your land. It's not with my land. It's slightly it elevated. It is with you. It's slightly elevated. Discard, like pass, turn. That's, a, that's ideal, yeah. There we go. Right. Discard? 
Yep. Spicy. This is a spicy three-player game we got. <laughs> Untap, draw. Um, deputy of detention. What's that do? Uh, well, I'm casting it. Does it resolve? Uh, no response. Okay. When well, what, is, what, what would it do if it resolves? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it uh, exiles target non-land permanent and controls and all other non-land permanents that player controls with the same name as that permanent until deputy of detention leaves the battlefield. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, I will uh, crack them all because they're not coming back anywhere. That is correct. Uh, I will then play this Azorius Chancery and bounce this point. Okay. Go ahead. How big is that guy? A 1 3. Come at me. With your two ones. Uh, three ones. With your two ones. I'm not gonna come at you with that. Oh, okay. I would allow it. Um, we're going to land for turn. Uh, David, I attack you with all of these. Six, two commander. And then yes. Uh, I'm gonna roll a die. Uh, odds, I take damage. For a mana crypt, six are even safe. To you. Oh. No damage. Loaded dice. Draw a dice. Um, play when swept heath. Tap. Crack it. Get a forest. Lose your life. So, uh, I had a bunch of cards in this deck that should have sped it up. Did it slow it, down? It has slowed me down a turn. I'm trying to figure it out. I feel like you're getting a little out of control over there, bud. Am I? I mean, he's got three treasures and a bunch of dwarves. I was robbed of all my treasures, though. Technically, I detained them. And you sacrifice them in spite. Well, I know that in your dungeon, I don't get my wealth back. Oh, that's true. It just disappears. It's weird. Mm. Uh, four for abundance. Uh, on cast, I draw a card. I gain a life. Responses? Nope. All right. Uh, tap one. Helm of the gods. Mm. And equip the helm of the gods to Sithis. What's Helm of the gods? Uh, equip creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment I control, so it would become a one two three. Uh, it'd be a four five, and uh, on the cast of abundance, I get a four four flying angel. Sweet. Um, attack me if you're down. I will crush you. I'm just gonna pass turn. I'm not worried about your dwarves. Uh, I'm going to concede at this point. Solid. Because this is, uh, right now I'm just an open punching bag for Magda, which is hindering everybody else at the table. Uh, that's technically accurate. <laughs> so you're going to hinder me, is what you're saying. <laughs> All right. Untap. Draw. Play those coins you guys knew about already. Oh, no. I never expected that to happen. Uh, then I'm going to cast this Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth. Which does? Uh, white spells that I play cost one less. Blue spells that I play cost one less. And spells that my opponents play cost one more. Go. Cool. And then uh, I'll be done. Go ahead. I'm going to tap three. And then I'm going to play uh, Liquid Metal Torque. What I do? Uh, it adds a mana, or I could tap it and make target non-land permanent 
an artifact until the end of the turn. Spicy. Um, responsive? Nope. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to... This is only going to be one dwarf. Because this will be the other dwarf. As I'm moving to combat. Yep, pass that, yeah. Um, Pavd it goes. And then you can search for a basic land if you like. I will. What if it's going to be bound? I mean, it could be. Him leaving the game makes this really rough on me. Yeah. And him being in the game makes it real rough on us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but he did do the gentlemanly thing and wait until his turn. own turn. Yeah. I agree. Uh, okay. I guess I have to go ahead and cut. Huzzah. I'm hoping that never comes up. Um, so it looks an awful lot like a shark. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, because you responded to my trying to leave combat, I'm back in my first main. As per uh, rules I didn't know existed until recently. So I'm going to go... Uh, to be fair, I'd let you go to combat. Uh, you wouldn't. If you let me go to combat, you wouldn't have been able to respond until I tap and make my attackers. In the declare, so you go from main phase to combat, and then declare attacker step. I I found that that is that that is actually not true. You when you when I declare that I'm going to combat, I'm pausing and asking for permission to go to combat. Correct. Once we go to combat, I hold priority. You go to immediately to the declare attacker step, and then I declare attackers, which would have given me treasure and changed the entire game. That's fair. Carry on. Um, so I'm going to one, two, three, four, recast Magda. Cost one more. Cost one more. Pay it. Swing nine. Also, to what is this? It is the same thing as this. Oh. I was going to turn it into an artifact. Oh, I see. So it's just uh, these three. Okay. I swing nine at you. Uh, and I get three treasures. Uh, I will block this guy. Okay. Uh, we both die. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take six. I thought you had to use all your treasures and mana for that. I did. And then I attacked oh, you and got, got three, three treasures back. Yeah, right. And then I have passed her. One time. That's how many times I've cast Magda. Twice? Yes, I've cast Magda twice now. Four. Oh, yeah, it was cast. Um, I missed the trigger. Yeah, it wasn't until recently, and I've been playing Magic for like 20 years, that I found out that if you interrupt somebody changing their phase, uh, well, it stays you, in their phase. Yeah, because you never change phase. Yeah. Take three damage. Um, let's go to combat. Okay. Uh, Does Angel not have a deal? No, it's just got playing. Uh, I'm coming at you, Jeff. Uh, for one, two, three, four. For four commander? Four commander. And then four other? Yes, four flying. I will not block. 
No responses? No responses. All right. All right, second main phase, one, wrap it down. Okay. Sure. That sits there. This goes here. This goes in there. Command zone. And then I will pass turn. Okie dokie. And tap. As I am one to do, um, well, it seems like a good time is in. Uh, Bennett Magistrate. Rough. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I feel like you guys just don't care about my feelings. Um, that's possible. And then I don't think other things matter. Go ahead. This mm -hmm. is a thing. It is. So let's go with a not quite where I want to be. So we're just going to go with a Scourge of the Throne. Responses? Nope. Nope. Uh, Renee, I'm going to attack you for six. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have haste. Never mind. Uh, haste going on Shh. I'm just <laughs> lying to you. Uh, and then I'm just going to pass. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to choose non land for my abundance trigger now that I remember. Have you considered having your lands take up more of your battlefield? Well, I don't need my battlefield anymore. Uh, fair, since yeah, you, you guys on it. You guys have been uh, taking it down. Uh, pay one. He took down his own battlefield as well. For a uh, cleric class. Oh. Uh, trigger. Make a 4-4 four, four flying angel. Uh, Green, Jukai Naturalist. Responses? What's that? It's a 2 2 enchantment creature that reduces the cost of my enchantments mm, by one. Yeah. No response. All right. Uh, create another angel. It's problematic. It is. And then I don't draw a card. Which. I'm just going to do one. Cultivate. Okay. Responses? Mm, no, it seems good. Nah. All right. I'll get a forest and a plains. Uh, plains and a plate tap. Forest in my hand. I think you guys read the board well enough that I was threatening to win every turn. And now I'm playing dragons. That's fair. It's the, it's the late game. What do you do? I uh, just cast dragons. Tap one, I'm gonna equip Helm of the Gods to Jukai Naturalist. Responses? Mm, nope. All right, it's equipped. Every turn that you stopped me, I was going to try to win the game. Yeah, I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I will pass the turn. All right. All right. I will play Container Priest. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I see you found the answers to uh, <laughs> everything I have. Sure. Uh, I don't know if this is good. Actual land does he have, Renee? Uh, seven. Okay, well, this card does nothing. Um, go ahead. 
this is the only time I think I will ever say this with this deck. Be a land. Was that land? No. Okay. Was it a mana positive rock? No. Okay. Winning. <laughs> Terror of the Peaks? Nice. I've got no response. It's very unfortunate. Responsive? Um, considering. It's the only way I'm getting through these angels. Yeah. You have sub five. You sub four mana? Yeah. They sub five mana. It's also how you can cast this commander. Oh, that's I can't cast my commander. I mean, you can with that. Oh, I'm. We're past that point. Abandoning the dwarves and going to the dragons, huh? Uh, that, that's the natural state of this deck. So is this your, uh, the Hobbit deck? Um, I have no response. Okay. Feldon's King? What does that do? Uh, you know what Feldon's King does? No one knows what Feldon's King does. Tap it and sack it to, uh, shuffle, uh, remove Feldon, shuffle your graveyard into your library and remove Feldon's King from the game. Uh, responses? None. I don't. Um, I feel like I should be punching someone, but instead I'm passing the turn. All right. It is how the point. Draw or mana crypt trigger first. Take your damage. Get, get uh, draw, I will name non land. That's a non land card to draw. It is. Play land for turn. And I cast Idyllic Tutor. Responses? Mm. How much mana do you have left? Uh, seven. It's unfortunate. Carry on. Sphere of Safety. Mm. Those dragons are looking pretty, pretty dangerous over there. You got angels. All right, put it on top. Um, yeah. put that into my hand. Oh, cool. Cast three. Then I will cast Sphere of Safety. Okay. Responses. Um. Cost me four to cast. Oh. Let's go over here. Uh, I do get another angel. I don't get any life. Sphere of safety. So to attack me, you would have to pay one, two, three, four, five for a creature to attack me. Okay. Um. Spencer Terror of the Peaks. What did you do? Just puts it back in. Pay for your life. So no responses? It's no also responses. it's also when it comes to target with spell. Okay. Terror of the Peaks goes back down. Okay. Uh, tap. Draw. Island. Just gonna cast Patron Wizard. Ah, counter spells. For tap and wizards. And then uh, I have a floating white, uh, which I will use to also play a living room. 
I'm surprised you didn't attack after you pulled your sewer safety. Yeah, it was a little shocking. Um, go ahead. Uh, is anyone unclear what Patron Wizard does? Oh, what's it do? Uh, so I can tap an untapped wizard I control to counter a spell, unless it's control of pay one. I currently have uh, three wizards. Lapless? So, would you like to pay one? Yep. Mm. That is a solid threat. Would you like to pay one? Yep. And would you like to pay one? Yep. Fair enough. Swing you for six. Second attack phase, swing you for six. Pass turn. Untap, uh, let us roll for damage. Three damage. Uh, I will then choose, for abundance, I'll choose non-land. What is that? It is resurgent belief. Spend two, one white, one return all enchantment cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. Dope. Uh, this isn't really helping me. Um, going to combat. Responses. No. Uh, Jeff, I'm coming at you. How much? Uh, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven. Uh, and I gain eight life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will pass turn. Mm. Interesting. Uh, so I guess I have. Play spell tithe enforcer. Uh, what does that do? Spells that loud out of the store and shut it off. Uh, so two, three, four, five. Um, so it's a elephant wizard, and whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player sacrifices it a permanent unless he or she pays one. We sacrifice that permanent? No, a permanent. Okay. Any permanent you want. Inferno of Star Mounds. And I'll pay one. If it's uncounterable. Okay. Responses, responses. Trigger lapis, get a five five. Um, I have to come after you, Tim. I mean, if you don't, I can't win with what you're doing. You will die. Uh, I will. Can you kill me this turn with what is that? Then, yeah. I th then I think I can kill him. What? I think I can kill him. I mean, you have twenty five damage on I, the. I can't attack him. I know, I understand that, but he has twenty five damage. I, I'm attacking you for 18. Do I have 25 damage? Uh, I'm going to sack these. Well, declare blockers. Uh, well, I don't require. Cool. I sack these. They all get plus one plus zero. Okay. So that's uh, 18, 19, 20, 21 damage. Okay. Pass me. All right. On top. Uh, we'll roll for Mana Crypt. Three damage. 
Uh, we'll choose non land for abundance trigger. Non land it is. Um, what was your non land? Starfield Mystic. Reduces the cast of the cost of enchantment spells I cost by one. Whenever an enchantment I control is put in a graveyard from the battlefield, I put a 1 1 counter on it. Uh, I'll pay 1 white and 1 for Starfield Mystic. And then I will tap 2 to cast Sithis. Response? No. Alright, uh, I get another angel, so now there's. We'll do like this 2, no, 3. Uh, I don't gain a life. Don't do any of that. Um, I'm just gonna do the. I'm gonna pay four to upgrade cleric class to level two. Whenever I gain a life, I put a one one counter on target creature. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna do what I don't do best and turn sideways. How much? Uh, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three, that's four, four is which presumably. Yes, that's eight, eight, mm -hmm. and then three, four, fours. Okay, so twenty damage. Yes. I gain eight life mm -hmm. plus one, yeah. nine. And then I get to put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. Yep. Put it on this guy. Makes sense. Cool. Uh, you want a different one for that? Oh. I don't know why I didn't block one of your guys. I had a 5-5 flyer. I'm just being dumb. <laughs> yes. Faster. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I one, borrow another deck? 2, 3, 4, 5, Maybe. 6, 7. Level 2. Oh, level. Platinum Angel. And uh, I will pass turn. Right. I will roll. Safe. Safe. Where are these guys? Uh, no, you gotta keep it separate because it's a it has a one one counter on it. Oh, you're right. I'll choose non land for my abundance trigger. Cool. Arasta. Put it in my hand. Tap two green. Cast it. Uh, responses? Nope. No. Uh, I gain two life. Uh, off of Sithis and uh, Cleric Class, I draw a card. Okay. Um, Should have gone with the Abundance Trigger, but oh well. Um, so I gain a life. I get another Angel. And then I will. Tap two. Uh, yeah, fair enough. To cast Aura of Silence responses. There aren't actual stakes. No response. Alright, uh, so I gain two life. Is this your artifact or enchantment or just a. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Draw a card, I'll choose non land. Catalan of Blossoms. Um, Get another angel. And borrow a die. Uh, why don't you just finish the game? I'm trying to. Uh, t technically, doing all this before combat matters because he's supposed to be doing things that affect combat. Tap two. Oh, I forgot the 1 1 counters. Twice. Yes. Cast Eidolon. I'll choose non land. Into my hand. Just help me because I have to make green. I will put a 1-1 one -one counter on Juke. Create another angel, which I believe already did. Nope. Nope. So there's that. Three. I do draw a card off of Eidolon himself, choosing non-land. It's a non-land. And then I'll pay one to Path to Exile. Platinum Angel. Sure. You get a basic land. Okay. And you attack? Yes. 
and uh, I block block four things. Yeah, I block four things and then I die. Go. Good game. Yep, uh, I'm only attacking four things. Can only attack with four things. <sighs> so I block four things. Would, would you like the game to be oh. over? Uh, I mean, this will die to your. I mean, yes. This will die to him, and I kill your three angels. Okay. Because you could have just sacked that and blowed the fuck up, and then passed it on the guy. Didn't realize uh, that's my hand. Is that your card too? Didn't think about that. Okay. I gain. I hope you lose things. So it's like one, two, that's not gonna happen. I can't stack three, four, five. Six, I said seven, hope. Nine. Are you done? Okay. Um. Actually, no. If this is if this is Clock of Omens on top of my deck, I win. Right. Done. Yeah. That's all I got. It's not. But I know what you're doing. Ah, <coughs> uh, it's not Clock of Omens. So I'm gonna go. Uh, one for Soul Ring. Pass you two more to cast. Correct. Which seems like. <laughs> Fair enough, I won't play Soul Ring. <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are the peaks. Yay. Nice. Screw it. I will uh, tap the extra to play the Soul Ring. <laughs> and then I'll be done. All right. And then you tap, and you win. Yes. Because you, in fact, have more than... Four things? Oh, five, because uh, when that came in. Oh, uh, that came in, and I killed your commander. Five damage. Yeah. You didn't want you winning with your commander on the table. You're right. Uh, so I'll roll for uh, damage? Yep. Safe. Cool. Choose non land. I have five things to block with. Non land. Uh, I will cast my commander. Out of spite. Okay. Do you have more than five things to attack with? Yes. Who, who have five power? Uh, In which case you would need. Maybe. I have to get seven there. Seven things to attack with. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, you have eight things to attack with. Nine things to attack with, I like. Yeah. So you're attacking nine things? Will it kill you? Yes. He has he has no mana open other than two colorless mana. Yeah. <laughs> and deflecting swat doesn't do anything. Yeah, the only thing you could do is help me if I had deflecting swat. Oh you know what? Just to make sure. I'm gonna cast well, your ancestral mask. You already you already missed encounters on stuff as well. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna ancestral mask on okay. the uh Arasta. Okay. Sure. Why not? Not land. Not land. All right. Do you and have anything with a with a power less than four? That yeah. is attacking. Uh, he does, but he has two more attackers than you have blockers, which right totals a four. So it would just cool. be. I die. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Can't believe I went through combat damage. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a uh, that was a rough one for me. I. I was going to try to win turn four, turn five, and turn six. Uh, I, I know <laughs> it's not in your nature, but you had a better chance of winning by not killing things. You did. All right. Because I couldn't, I couldn't do anything to you either. The, the issue is he was building up, and then you kept trying to counter my things. So it cost me treasures to get my stuff out, and I couldn't trust you to let me cast anything. So I, that's why you had to die. Shouldn't try to fuck so hard to count on my thing. It's fair. You, you just have to play around it. I did. Like I did. By killing have, it. By having more mana than you. Correct. <laughs> I, I had lots of mana. But just because someone like is threatening to count on your thing doesn't, doesn't uh, do anything. My, my best shot was to kill you, play Platinum Angel, and if he didn't have the removal, I was going to be able to take him out of the game. Your, your, your best option was to try and draw the thing that wins the game, kill me, and then win the game that turn. I don't think I could have gotten it with you on the with, with you on the table. You, you, you killed all my treasures plenty of times, and I just... That doesn't matter. You had enough mana. I didn't. 
to, to do what I needed to do. To Takes drop, a, to it also didn't help that I, that I board wiped you when you had all those dwarves right after you cast the Magna. Oh, well, yeah. sure, but that, that, that just yeah. is a setback. Yeah. But no, it was a long game. It, was, it wasn't a bad game. Uh, well, and it would have went a lot differently, obviously, if there had actually been four players and not three. Yeah. Which happens sometimes. Uh, the funny thing is, like, I thought him scooping was was literally taking the game from me. Yeah. It never made a difference. Right. Um. I mean, you. No, because I guess you couldn't play stuff that came afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. It didn't give you the the free treasures. But by the time he scooped, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Uh, his his taking away my treasures, and then eventually getting rid of Magda and whatever. Because, like, once I had my Ligamel Torque on the battlefield, uh, my three treasures meant my dwarves, my three other dwarves, would let me win the game. Uh, and I was just going to attack you and um, win the game while attacking. But it didn't happen because you see them treasures and you're like, nope. Good on you. Right? Like, sure. But I, but I do think waiting would have been better for me. Yeah. Uh, maybe. But yeah, so uh, if you like the game, uh, hit the share button, like, subscribe. And uh, uh, let us know other things that you would like to see. Because uh, we're really just uh, spitballing over here. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> cool. All right. We'll see you next time.